Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set the prices of a Royal Merlin 4 drink vending machine. This is going to be used for operators running the models 650, 548, and 768 drink machines. Now this is a Merlin 4 control board using three buttons to program, not to be confused with the Royal 660 which uses a four button programming. So let's get started. With the cost of drinks always on the rise, it's inevitable. At some point, you are going to have to raise the price in your drink machine. Knowing how to do that is very important, and on a Royal Merlin 4, this is actually a very easy process. So to do that, we will be using this Royal 650 live front behind me in tutorial. This is going to be useful also if you have a round front drink machine where your selection buttons are down the right hand side. Now, to navigate the menu, we're going to be using three selection buttons. That's going to be button one, two, and three. Now, imagine if you had a computer keyboard, button one will act as an up arrow, button two will act as a down arrow, and button three will act as an enter or delete key, depending on how long you press it. So to access the programming mode on a Merlin 4 control board, we need to press the service mode button. And that can be found on the control board, which is going to be located on the inside of the main door. Now on this particular machine, that is actually going to be located in the upper left hand corner of the door. Now on some machines, the control board is mounted in the center, or they can be mounted recessed into the upper left hand side of the door. Now we're just going to need to find the blue service mode button and this button is about the size of a pencil eraser, it's round. And on this machine, this happens to be located right here. Now on a board that's in the center of the door, that button can be found on the left hand side of the board and the boards that are recessed in, those are going to be found on the bottom of the board near the center. Now if you open your door and you don't see the computer board, there may be a metal cover over it then you can know that here is going to be two square holes and one rectangular hole. The second square hole from the top is where you'll find that mode button. You'll just have to reach in and press it. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and press the service mode button one time. I'm going to feel the button collapse underneath my finger, like that. And then now I'm going to come over around to the front and I'm not going to close the door. I need to keep the door slightly ajar because if I close the door, the machine is actually going to go right back into sales mode. Now, when we know we press the service mode button, we've entered service mode, is when the display reads cash. Now, we're going to navigate to the price section on the control board. Now, you'll find this under, and don't laugh, it's under P-R-I-C. So, I'm going to navigate to price by pressing selection button 1. So, I'll continue to press button 1 until I find P-R-I-C. And... There we are, P-R-I-C for price. Now I'm going to want to enter price mode. So again, remember, selection button three acts as our enter key. So I press selection button three one time, and I'm presented with all, A-L-L. -L. Now, we can set the price for everything in this machine at once under the all section. But I'm actually going to be pricing selections buttons one and two for this tutorial, and I want my 16.9 ounce bottle here to be $1.25 and I want my 12 ounce can of soda here on selection 2 to be $1. So I'm going to navigate to this bottle here or price 1, product 1, which is selection 1. So I press selection button 1 one time and it says P1 and then gives me the current price of P1 product 1 which is this selection here and is set for 50 cents. So I'm going to need to increase that price. So I need to enter that. Again, pressing selection button 3 to enter. The screen will blink and we're presented with the current price and now I can increase this price by pressing selection button 1. It will increase in 5 cent increments. If I press selection button 2, it will decrease in 5 cent increments. So I press selection button 1 and I'm going to keep going until I get to that $1.25. Now if I press and hold this, it will begin to jump very rapidly and you may overshoot. I've actually, I overshot. I'm at $1.30. So I'm going to come back down and I'm at $1.25. Now I'm at the price where I want my product one to be. Now I need to save that price. So to save that price, we're going to press selection button three. We hold it for a quick count of one, two, three, and then let go. 
the price will be saved. Now, if you if can't get the timing down right, I've always found very useful. If you watch the display, the display will blink, and then you'll know that you have saved the price. So I press and hold selection button three until the screen blinks. There we are. I'm now at $1.25. We're saved at $1.25 here for product one. Now I need to set this drink, which is selection two or product two, to $1. So I press selection button one time to go to P2, and I'm presented with this current price. It's showing 50 cents here. So I'm going to enter that price by pressing selection button three. One time, the screen blinks. It's at 50 cents. I'm going to increase this to $1. So I continue to press button one to increase in five cent increments, and here I'm at $1. Now I need to press selection button three to save that price. So I'm going to press and hold selection button three until it blinks, and there we are. Now my price is saved. Now here's a little quick tip that I had over the many years of repairing Royal 650s and programming them. Uh, and this, is, this goes actually to any, almost any Merlin 4 control board for what I have found. If you go to change your price and the prices are not increasing in five cent increments or decreasing in five cent increments and they're only doing in one cent increments, it is more than likely you have a problem with your coin changer. The board's not detecting the coin changer correctly and that's why it's only going to go in one cent increments. As a matter of fact, if I was to turn the machine off, unplug the coin changer, power the machine back up, enter price mode with no coin changer, your prices will actually increase in only one cent increments. So this is a quick troubleshooting way to figure out if you got a problem with your coin changers to check your prices. If they go up in five cent increments, then you know more than likely your coin changer's okay. But again, if they only change in one cent increments, you may have a problem and you might want to look into that a little bit further. So once we've got our prices saved here, I need to exit this price changing because we're actually done with this process. To do that, if one of three, we can do it two, one of two ways to do it, is what I'm trying to say here, is I can press and hold selection button three until it reads ice cold in the display, or I can simply just close the door on the machine. I always like to press and hold selection button three until it says ice cold, and now I'm all the way out, and my prices are set. I can check my prices by pressing button one, and it says $1.25 for this selection. If I press selection button two, I'm presented with $1, so I know my work is good, and I'm done. I can close this door and go on my way. Now, if you find this video useful, I really do appreciate if you could like and subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions or any ideas of videos that you would like to see in the future, please comment below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.